General Hospital's father teased that George will be in town for Stella Henry. Of course, this guy will propose to Stella again. Whether Stella agrees or not, George will still hang around in town. And it is also possible that George decided to settle in town for the sole purpose of being equal to Stella. As far as no, Stella is living alone in town. Stella focuses all her time and effort on her nephew Curtis. As for problem, Stella knew she didn't have time to think about many things else. But said, of course, and Stella mind, Stella heart had begun to vibrate again. Stella deserved a new man and a new love. The script writer are coming up with ideas to embellish the character of Stella, and that will soon come true. Stella once went to London, and there she met George. Thanks to that, Stella felt life much more meaning after Curtis's injury. Curtis could not walk. Even Curtis knew that Curtis himself was a burden to his family. Curtis didn't want to involve anyone, but being in a wheelchair left Curtis with no other choice. Gregory had only met Stella once, but George was already fascinated by this woman. So George decided to propose to Stella in London, but at that time Stella refused. Stella knew that if Stella agreed, she would have to move to London to live with George. Stella didn't want to live there, even though she rejected the proposal and returned to town. In reality, Stella still regretted not agreeing to the proposal, but fortunately George took the initiative to come to town and wanted to win back his love. However, there was another truth that shocked Stella. Curtis's father, Marshall Asford, liked Stella. Marshall didn't have the courage to tell Stella that, after all, she was Curtis's aunt and Curtis was Marshall's son. In terms of relationship, they are quite close relatives. Plus, Marshall is also shy and showing affection. When George came to tell and proposed to Stella. That was when Marshall was most afraid of losing Stella. That's why Marshall boldly confessed to Chu. Marshall was afraid that George would really have Stella. Stella feels that things are starting to get more complicated, and Stella begins to have to think about who Stella Hart really belongs to. Marshall and Curtis's father and Stella knows Marshall very well. Stella also feels extremely secure if she chooses Marshall as the person to accompany Stella for the rest of her life. But then again, they are related, so choosing Marshall wouldn't be right. Meanwhile, if Stella chooses George, it is not certain that Stella will feel happy. Both George and Stella don't understand each other very well. If not, say they don't understand each other. That's true because the two had just met a few times, and George was too hasty and brazen to Stella. Of course, for middle-aged people like George and Stella, romance is no longer so important. But without romance, there will definitely be no love between them. Ultimately, regardless of the outcome, fans will soon see George. And Marshall go and head to head over the same woman. Of course, these two men will become enemies, and Stella cannot prevent their tense clashes.